Hello everyone welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial, today we will be going to create this. First step to create a new composition, name it slideshow, set 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30, and duration 10 seconds long, and hit OK. Now import all your images in your project, and create a new folder name it images. Now move to the next step, import any image to timeline, set scale if needed. Now select the rectangle tool, set fill to solid color, and stroke to none, no matter which fill color you will use. And draw the rectangle as shown. Now expand the rectangle 1, in rectangle path 1, unlink the size, and set size to 380 and 1200 percent now press ctrl and click on the anchor point tool to center the anchor point in the composition and align the rectangle in the center now go in transform rectangle 1 move at start of the timeline and create a keyframe on scale unlink the scale values and set scale 0 and 125 percent Again create a keyframe on rotation, and set rotation minus 30 degrees. Now go on 1 second 10 frames, select the shape layer, set scale 450 and 230, and rotation 90 degrees. Now go on 3 seconds and 10 frames, select the shape layer press U to open all keyframes, and add a keyframes on scale and rotation, now go on 5 seconds, and set scale 0 and 125%, and set rotation to 210 degrees. Now select only scale keyframes, and easy ease them. Now pre-compose the image layer, call it image comp and choose move all attributes into the new composition. Now select the image composition, and set track mat to alpha mat shape layer 1. Now right click on the image composition, go in layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open drop shadow, at start of the timeline, create a keyframe on opacity, and set opacity 0%, now go on 15 frames, and set opacity to 50%, and set distance to 0%, as well as set spread to 15%, and size to 80%. You can see the drop shadow by turn on the transparent grid. Again select the image layer, right click on it go in layer styles, and choose stroke. In stroke, change color to white, and set position to inside. Now select both layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Now go on 5 frames, and bring the shape layer on 5 frames. Again duplicate the shape and image layer, now go on 10 frames, and bring the top shape layer on 10 frames. Now select the first shape layer, press U to open all keyframes, and move the playhead on last keyframe, now press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to split the layer, and delete the newly created layer. Now select the second and third shape layer, Go on 4 seconds 15 frame, and split the both layer, and delete newly created layers. Now go in effects and presets, and search for tint effect, and add it on the last image layer. Again select the image layer, press S to open scale and set scale 135%, now select the second shape layer, press S to open scale and set scale 110%, now select the third shape layer, 
press S to open scale at start of the timeline, create a keyframe on scale, and go at end of the timeline, and set scale to 115, to create a zoom effect. Now create our text, so type the text, and change the size of it, I am using the Nexa black font, I will give the link in description, you are free to use any font. Now expand the text layer, and click on animate, and choose opacity, and set opacity to 0%, now turn on the wrench selector, at start of the timeline, create a keyframe on start. Now go at 1 second 15 frames, and set start 100%. Click on the advanced and turn on the randomize order. And move the keyframes on 15 frames. Easy ease all keyframes. Again add opacity on the tax layer. Set opacity to 0%. Go in range selector. Go on 4 seconds. Create a keyframe on offset and set offset to 100%. Now go on 5 seconds, and set offset to 0%. Easy ease those keyframes. Now duplicate the text layer, decrease the scale, and set the position as shown. And change the text. Now select the rectangle tool, set fill to none, and set stroke to yellow color, and stroke width to 10%. And make the shape like this. Now add trim paths to the shape layer, go at 15 frames, create a keyframe on start, and set start to 100%. In transform, create a keyframe on opacity, and set opacity to 0. Select the shape layer, and press U to open keyframes, now go on 2 seconds, set opacity 100%, and set start 0%. Now go on 4 seconds and add the keyframe on start on opacity. Now go on 5 seconds, set start to 100%, and set opacity to 0%. Now easy ease all keyframes. Do you want to add more scenes? Then follow my tutorial, create a composition, name its animation, and 30 seconds long, but the duration depends on how many slides you want your slideshow to have. In the project window, duplicate the slideshow composition. Now import slideshow 1 composition to timeline. Now double click on slideshow composition, now duplicate the image composition, select the image comp in timeline, press alt and replace the image composite with project window composition. Replace all comp in the slideshow. Now double click on any image composition, and replace the image with any other image, change scale if required. Go in slideshow comp 2, and you can see our image will be changed, then change your text. Now go in animation composition, and import the slideshow comp 2 in the timeline. Now when our first scene complete, brings the second scene composition, You can add more slideshow, all the process will be the same. Our animation will be complete, I will see you in the next video.